When you begin a research assignment, the first thing to do is decide on your research topic. It should be something that's directly relevant to the subject matter of your course. The next thing to do is find out how your topic fits in with other topics and into the larger scheme of the discipline. Use reference books or ebooks and even Wikipedia and similar websites. Skim over articles related to your topic. Follow the links to other articles and learn about how it connects with other questions and issues. Now it's time to get your research topic to just the right balance between broad and narrow, general and specific. It needs to be general enough that you can find enough information sources on it. You also don't want to write a paper that goes in a, do in a dozen different directions, so your topic needs to be specific enough that you won't be overwhelmed by the thousands of search results and too much to write about. Usually people's topics start out too general, like diversity, child development, solar power, or the American Revolution. You'll never have time to research and write about such a broad topic. When it comes to topics that are too specific, it really depends on what subject area you're studying. Some subjects are relatively new and have a lot that's unknown and unexplored. In those subjects, your narrowed topic may not seem all that narrow. Other subjects are well established and scholars have covered increasingly specialized niches within the field. In those subjects, your narrowed topic may seem almost ridiculously specific. It also matters how strong your library's collection is in the subject area you're working in. You need to be able to get a sufficient number of research materials from a diversity of authors and journals. What I want to do now is give you an idea of how you move from a general research topic to a specific one. We refer to this as narrowing down. First, let's start with a really big topic, George Washington. There's way too much to write about in one paper, his military service, political career, personality and beliefs, and the impact he made on this country. So instead of looking at everything about George Washington, let's look at a particular subtopic. You can get an idea of what subtopics are available within your larger topic from what you've learned in the course and from the background research you did in order to decide on your topic to begin with. The way you narrow down your topic is to add one or more additional related topics and look at where they overlap. When you take the topic George Washington and add the topic military career, you get the subtopic George Washington's military career. If George Washington's military career is still not specific enough for you, you can add another topic to it, for instance the French and Indian War, where George Washington first made a name for himself as a military leader. Now here's an example of a research topic that's too general, the U.S. Civil War. I've searched for it in the Academic Search Complete database and I got over 16,000 articles. That's too many to read, or even to just scan all their titles. So I decide to narrow it down a lot. Now my topic is Black Women Nurses During the U.S. Civil War. I searched again and I got only two scholarly articles. Just looking at that results list, you have to figure that between a third and a half of your search results are going to be either unavailable or somehow unsuitable. It's possible I'm looking in the wrong database, or I'm just not using the right keywords. Then again, my research topic may be too specific now. It will be easier to find good information sources if I dial my specificity back a notch. So this time I aim for a happy medium. My topic is now Black Women During the U.S. Civil War. I get 569 search results, which is just about perfect. It should be somewhere in the hundreds, maybe 50. It's not too many for me to skim over all their titles and see what they're about. And even if a lot of them are useless or unavailable, I should still have plenty of sources to use in my paper.